Hi, my name is Brennan Boyd, and I am a first-year undergraduate student at the University of Kentucky. This is my first-ever podcast, so let's see how it goes. Golf is something that can be found in just about every community. Growing up, I predominantly saw it in Oldham County, Kentucky. When I first arrived at Lexington as a full-time student, the thing that overwhelmed me the most was how much bigger the community is here than it is back home. The traffic I see at home is nothing compared to what I see here. Once I realized how much bigger Lexington is, I should have realized that the golf community would be just as big. The course that is closest to where I live is called Gay Brewer Junior Course at Picadome. Picadome is just like your average public course in a big city. It's a nice course, it's in good shape, and you can see all types of golfers there. Picadome provides a homey feel without the high-end or classy feel that country clubs provide. It allows you to enjoy the game at your own level. When I visited Picadome, I asked one of the employees what other courses were in the area. Without hesitation, he listed off about eight different courses. In Oldham County, there's only four courses. Picadome is a very well-known course in Lexington. It's actually the course that the university used for the intramural tournament. Picadome is the base for public golf in the Lexington Fayette area. I'm on the phone with my lifelong friend, Jacob Butchel. I've known him since about, what, eight years old? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. He goes to UK as well, and he works at Picadome. So I tracked him down, took some of his time just to ask him some questions about the course because he's there a lot more than me. So the first question I want to ask you, Jacob, would be okay. is, Compared to the other golf courses you've been to, how would you describe Picadome? Um, I would describe Picadome as a lower level course. It's it's fun to play. I mean, it's tight. Fairways are tight. It's just a partial course, so it's not all that well maintained, but it's a fun little track to play. Yeah, you can kind of see that just from what you see from the outside. Um, what type of golfers do you mostly see there? school players at Lafayette plays there. I think that's our home course. Um, older. It just depends on the day. You have some seniors, some ladies, bunch of men, uh, kids. You see pretty much all types of golfers. <laughs> now, do you see mostly just like hack type golfers or do you see some serious players there? I have yet to see someone that could like straight play. I mean, that Alex Hamilton dude that plays for Kentucky, he, he was up there one time, but that's the only person I've seen play that's, like, really good. Yeah. So, the last question I want to ask you would be, where does Picadome make most of its money, would you say? Uh, it's got to be on golf. Uh, just for hours during the week, I'd say. We have, most of our players are on the week because, you know, Kentucky football and stuff on weekends. But, yeah, it's golfers during the week, I'd say. I mean, do you all make many pro shop sales on merchandise and stuff? I'm not really. I'm in balls, tees, but we don't sell very many clothes or clubs. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your time, man. I'll catch you later. No problem. I agree with everything Jacob had to say. Picadome is pretty basic and allows you to see just about every aspect golf has to offer. He described the course well while mentioning some underlying issues without fully going into depth. One very brief note Jacob made was that Picadome is not maintained that well. With that being said, he also mentioned that it is a parks course, which means it is publicly ran. These types of courses are typically never in great shape. However, it is hard to draw golfers in if your course is not up to par. Another issue that Jacob discreetly mentioned was that Picadome makes money mostly off of greens fees. From May to mid-September, greens fees are a great source of revenue. The weather's great, and the people can't get enough golf in their systems. But when winter comes around, no one's playing golf. Sure, you might get one nice day here or there, but even then, there aren't many people interested in golfing in the middle of December. During these cold months, the only way a course can really make money is in pro shop sales, and if Picadome typically only makes money on greens fees, I imagine that the winter can be rough at times. The next person I decided to interview is Jackson Decker, who is also a current UK student. Jackson and I went to high school together. I wanted to interview him because he has never golfed before, so I took him to Picadome to get his thoughts on the space. 
Jackson, thanks for taking the time out of your day to be with me. The first question I have for you is, what kind of emotions did you feel when you first arrived at Picketum? When I saw all the trees and the green grass, it was very peaceful. I felt really calm and relaxed. Yeah, that's something a lot of people feel at a golf course. Did you feel intimidated at all when you were there? I think a lot of it was in my head, but I actually did. Even though back home I live on a golf course, golf is something not a part of my life. I felt like I didn't belong, or that I was looked at differently because I didn't golf. I wasn't wearing golf attire, and I didn't really know how to act. That's really interesting. I've never really thought about it like that. My final question for you is, did seeing Picadome spark an interest in you to play golf? Um, I'm not... I'm not really sure, but I've always loved sports. I've always loved sports, so I think uh, the competitor in me is what gained a little interest. But I don't think the course itself sparked any interest. Okay, Jackson. Thanks for t- taking the time to help me. I'll get you on the course sometime. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. When I decided to interview Jackson, my original thought was just that he provided a different perspective than what Jacob did. It wasn't until I tried to see the course from his shoes that I thought he might be a little uncomfortable. That's when I decided to ask him if he was. I've been around golf for a very long time, so I'm comfortable at just about every course I go to. However, I too get uncomfortable if I'm in a setting that I'm not familiar with. Whenever Jackson told me that he was uncomfortable, I was able to relate to what he was feeling. With that being said, Pick and Dome is the only course I've been with Jackson at, so I'm not sure if he feels this way at every course he goes to or if it was just a Pick and Dome. Regardless, that is not the way you want someone to feel about your golf course. Picadome is a staple for golf in this area, and I truly believe that it is a great representation of the public courses in Lexington. It is a great place for all types of golfers. That's all the time we have for today's podcast. Thanks for tuning in. And who knows, this may not be my last podcast. And if you're ever looking for a place to get an enjoyable round in, look at Gabe Brewer Jr. Course at Picadome.